smudgy, I'm smudging you. If you're watching, I am smudging you. I'm smudging my environment and I'm smudging the cards I have on the floor. I'm not here to do a big reading. I just wanted to pop in and celebrate because it's Friday and this is what I woke up to. I'm gonna show you my view outside. I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I've been trying to stay off the CNN crack uh, and I've been doing really well this week. But for whatever reason, I didn't watch the news. I didn't hear the forecast. I mean, this is inches right before Halloween. So I felt like when I woke up, I was like, is this real? Like, oh my God, snow! All right, let me calm down because I know not everybody likes snow like me. But my, my thing is, if it's going to be cold, I wanna see snow. Not too many jumped out and too soon. If it's going to be cold, I want to see snow. I could have waited a little longer because the leaves are still beautiful. So I don't know if the snow is going to make the leaves fall out faster or have them change faster. But um, hopefully you got to see some foliage if you're in New England. Uh, nope, too many. Too many flying out. And I had an early dinner, so I'm not hungry or anything. I, I am not jittery like I usually am when I'm doing these readings because uh, I want to I want to do these readings um, while I feel balanced is what I'm trying to say and I was doing them when I was hungry because I didn't you know I don't want once you get settled for dinner you settle down you got the TV on or you're doing your workout and then next thing you know it's midnight <laughs> so uh, I had an early dinner and I have some time before I get on the mat because I, I, gotta, I gotta do my exercise. Um, be kind to yourself. Some of you are just beating yourself up for no good reason. Like it doesn't serve you any good to not be kind to yourself. Well, however that shows up, have a great dinner, take a bath, go for a walk in winter wonderland or you know, if you live by the ocean, go take a walk on the beach. But how about this? How about stop beating yourself up here? How about loving yourself here, all right? We're all human, but you know what? We're all human, we make mistakes, we go through stuff, um, but you're kind to everybody else, but what about you? So what was I saying? So anyway, I'm gonna go and do my exercise after I do this. And um, gotta work on my IT band. Woo! Praying to, the, praying to the fitness gods today. Please heal me, heal me. I wanna climb more mountains. Ooh, financial flow. Not a card that comes up a lot. Uh, but when it does, it's got to be celebrated because money is coming in. So be kind to yourself. Right? No, no financial worries. Let's see. What else? What else do the fairies want to tell you? So the weekly readings that I'm going to do, I'm going to upload them onto Instagram and I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to rush. I'm not going to try to do this 15 minute message um, because when I do and I try to upload on Instagram, it, it takes like a day. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I see other people posting videos that are 30 minutes and longer, um, but if I have a 15 minute video, it takes all day. And I don't know if it's because I play music that Instagram has this, um, you know, this algorithm that picks up videos with music to make sure that there aren't any copyright issues. So for this video, which is now four minutes, I am uh, not gonna play any music and I wanna see if it will upload faster. As I'm willing to try whatever I gotta do. But going forward, I'm going to um, post my video, my readings, my weekly Sunday, because Sunday's for the soul, readings uh, on Instagram, and I will post um, like a preview um, on Instagram to draw you to the Yoga Preacher channel, which I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'm just kind of going with the flow, right? Going with the financial flow. I don't know if it's something that's gonna turn into anything, but I enjoy doing it. Um, it makes me feel on purpose and I feel creative. And um, we need that because COVID's still here. 
<laughs> and COVID is not going anywhere right now. And so I'm using this time, my solitude time, to be more, to tap more into my creative side and my inner power. Mm -hmm. Time to tap into your inner power, all right? You've got nothing to lose. What do you have to lose to step into your power? If you step into it and it gets rejected, oh well, it's rejected. If you step into it and it changes things, that's awesome. But if you don't do anything, then you're at a, you're at a loss anyway. So what do you have to lose? Step into it. Step into your power and look inside yourself because um, it says, uh, yeah, just look inside yourself because in there is the power. Look inside for your inner power. I N inside. Look inside. Inspiration. I N. They all start with I N. Inspire. Inspiration. Inner power. Time to step into it because when you do, your money will be flowing, flowing, baby. And in the meantime, just be kind to yourself because beating yourself up mentally will do everything to hurt you. Beating yourself up will hurt your health. It'll take away your sleep. Just don't do that. Just stop the negative self-talk, please. Just stop it. Unless you, unless you can prove that negative self-talk and treating yourself bad resulted into something good, I don't know. I don't think that book has been written. I don't think you can go on Amazon.com or Barnes & Noble and find a book that says... Beating yourself up is healthy and will get you closer to your goal because it won't. Three cards fell out and I'm not taking them. So take a deep breath. Sit back. I got my fire. I love my fireplace. I have a lot of wood to burn too. All right. Okay, here we go. This is facing up. And I love this card. Boundaries. Boundaries, boundaries, have some boundaries. Have some, having boundaries is so healthy. You know, draw a line in the sand and tell people they can't cross this. This is where I stand. This is, these are the terms that I'm willing to whatever, okay? There are some things you just cannot negotiate. And that is like when you, when you have to negotiate your spirit, all right, when you have to negotiate things that your spirit doesn't want, that's like the kiss of death. Have some boundaries, you know, before somebody teaches you how to have some boundaries. You don't want that lesson. I had, a, I had a, one of the greatest teachers of all time taught me how to have boundaries. She didn't like that she taught me how to have boundaries, but I thanked her. And when I did thank her, I said, thank you so much. You know, you've been a great teacher because... You know, you, you've, you've done a lot for me. And, and this person said, wow, that's great. I actually helped you. Because, you know, I help a lot of people. So she was really, um, she was really um, flattered that she could get to me and help me and change me. And she says, what did I help you with? And I said, boundaries. <laughs> that's huge to have a teacher in your life, right? To bring some experiences that wake you up to having those boundaries that's a teacher that you should bless for the rest of your life and unfortunately this person that I thanked for the lesson on boundaries was not happy about teaching me that she wanted something I guess more glamorous but what she doesn't understand is that that was one of the greatest lessons I've had to learn greatest lesson of all time boundaries boundaries are healthy you should have them and you know what? I do. I, oh, that says unconditional love. Unconditional love. I think this is something that has truly been lost in our society. Because everything comes with conditions. I will love you if you make enough money. I will love you if you look good. I will love you if you do what I tell you to do. I mean, I don't know. I will love you if fill in the blank. Unconditional love says I love you Point blank period. No conditions. I love you just the way that you are. I love you just the way you are. Billy Joel. 
Billy Joel. Billy Joel. I love you just the way you are. I know. I know. Don't give up my day job because I'm not a singer. But I do love to sing. And I don't care. Um, too many. But guess what? I saw I saw Undying Love on that one. <laughs> Pulled that one earlier today. One more. And I'm just going to take the top. Ooh. Bodies of water. It's telling you to, um, to get near water. I think that's great. Especially if it's salt. If it's like the ocean. Very detoxifying. You don't live near the ocean. Um, go get a bag of Epsom salt and put that in the tub and, and, and detox your ass. Um, lakes are nice. Rivers. I mean, especially water that's running. When you can hear running water, it's very, very healing. So maybe you need to get, if you can, um, get near water, go for that. All right. Oh, got to knock. I, I knock because I'm clearing out the energy in the cards. Yeah. Ooh, two went flying. I don't like the two that went flying. Let me go get it. Oh, well, actually, let's talk about this. Yeah, she's sad. Look at her. Eight of cups. The moon behind her. All the cups are stacked. So it's not like any of the cups have spilled over. They're just there waiting for her and they will wait until she comes out of her out of her dark night cave so she's going into the dark night of the soul and i know you probably can't see this here on the screen but she's not very happy uh she is surrendering because she knows she needs to do it she knows she has to go and think about her options think about her choices and think about the things that may or may not be in her life that you once desired and treasured. You know, one of the hardest things in life that you'll have to give up is something you've held in your heart for a long, long time. So, and this card sort of reflects that. It's like a releasing of what you thought could be or something that you thought you wanted. And life is saying, mm -mm, you need to go and meditate and go into the dark night and really think about the things that you want by giving up the things that you thought you should have. Temperance. Card of Sagittarius. Fire. I like fire. But see how she's flowing water into one cup? Then, you know, she'll float into the other cup. She's got the rainbow. She's near water. It's beautiful. This is the card of balance. And you guys know, right? You know, balance to me is the key to happiness. An even flow, a reciprocal back and forth. So you're not just exhaling and giving your energy and exhaling and exhaling and exhaling. You can't live. Can you live exhaling? No, you can't. Can you? And then there's the inhale. You inhale and you're taking and you inhale and you inhaling. Can you live just by inhaling? You can't. So you can't live your life being a taker and you can't live your life being a giver. Balance is key, okay? Balance, this is up, right? Maybe that's what, maybe that's what she's going into the den for, to give up the things that put her out of balance. Maybe she's tired of inhaling. Maybe she's just tired of exhaling. Maybe what she really needs to learn is to be kind to herself, right? And, and, find, and to find the balance, she needs to be kind to herself. You know, the, the financial balance is coming into play. How is that coming into play? Because you're stepping into your power and you're really starting to look at yourself. And if you need to chill out, right, go by the water. Go to the water. Just look at the water. Just don't even, try not to even judge it. Like the water's not moving. It's cold. It's dirty. It's got a lot of leaves. It's got a lot of moss. Just look at the water. Just let it flow, right? Just like your thoughts. Let it flow. Because guess what? In the end, you want to know what's awesome? Outside of having your boundaries now, finally, having your boundaries, is having this. The second, one of the top two greatest gifts that life will ever give you is true love 
and free will. They do exist. I hope you have a beautiful night. I hope you do something fun because there's still plenty of hours left in Friday. And um, I love being surprised. I love when Mother Nature surprises me. I didn't see this coming. And let me just tell you this, um, and then I'll end this, because this came to me yesterday. So I got Netflix because I just got, I, I just, I couldn't take the, the judgment <laughs> of people saying, you don't have Netflix? Like, come on, darling, you gotta, you gotta get with the time. So instead of being out of conversations, I decided to um, get Netflix and, I started watching one reality show and I immediately jumped off and I thought, oh my God, this is a mistake. I'm gonna cancel my membership. But then I said, you know what, let me check out House of Cards. I've heard several people talk about the series and so I've been binge watching. I think I'm still on season one though. Maybe season two, I'll have to check. There's like eight seasons. And so you know what happened is I first couple, the first episode I was sold, but then I started watching that and then, and then I got excited and I fall asleep because I, I, I can't, I just can't, I can't sit on the couch or sit somewhere and watch something like a movie for hours. For some reason, I just get so relaxed that I fall asleep. But, um, so anyway, I fall asleep and then I pick up the series. But I'm gonna share this with you about always wanting to know everything and not allowing yourself to be surprised by life. So yesterday, I, um, I made the mistake and I thought that pressing the button would bring me right back to the episode I fell asleep on. It didn't, it brought me several, several like episodes ahead like I don't know probably more like a couple years ahead I don't know how long the show's been on and then I saw a scene where I saw it, it just it just it, it it brought me so far forward that I was angry and I stopped I shut the TV and I was like I didn't want to see that I didn't want to know that that was going to happen to that character so it's spoiled so I have so many episodes that I have to watch knowing that I saw the future of one of the characters and then it hit me about you know doing like these readings and cards and astrology and always wanting to know what's next but really do, doing these readings and astrology is really giving you um, a look at the at the present moment and the decisions that the people are making because remember we have free will so when you get a reading today and somebody takes an act of free will it can change the outcome so Anyway, free will always changes things, um, but there are times where we can get like really become junkies, like I gotta know, I gotta know, I wanna know, what's next, what's next? And what happened to me yesterday watching the show, I saw what was happening years in, in advance and I didn't like that. It, it like ruined the surprise for me. But this morning I woke up to snow and I had no idea that snow was happening. And I was delighted and surprised. And isn't that like the best and sweetest part of life is not really knowing everything. You don't have to have all the answers. Allow life to surprise you every once in a while. Now I'm gonna say goodbye. I hope you had a beautiful day. I hope that you do something fun. And stay tuned, um, tomorrow is Halloween. So I, I'm expecting um, a new deck, a Moonology deck, and then a Sister Tarot deck. So I'm so excited to crack those open and I will use that for the full Super Moon tomorrow reading. That'll be a quick one. And then of course, the Sunday reading, cause I'm committed to doing uh, weekly readings um, on Sunday. And I'm going to upload those on YouTube so I can draw more attention to my YouTube channel. Um, okay, so I will see you tomorrow before, um, before, um, before 10 o'clock. How about that? Peace. See you then.